Hey Danny Bull here, founder of Songwriters International, where we help songwriters develop their craft to go on to steady a career within music. Now today I'm going to share with you what a songwriting brief is, how you can go ahead and find briefs yourself, and what are some of the positives and maybe some of the negatives that you might find with writing for songwriting briefs. These are a great way though if you're wanting to monetize your music, this is how we're going to do it. How we're actually going to get a paycheck at the end of writing a song that goes on to be successful. So if you're wanting to take that journey of monetization, this is gonna be really, really informative for you. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Okay, so first thing, let's identify what a songwriting brief is. A songwriting brief in really simple context is where a label, an artist, a publisher, a management, and uh, maybe a TV company, anywhere are looking for a song. Okay, so what they will do is they will put it out into the world. They might contact publishers, they might contact managements, artists, songwriters directly, and they will say, hey, we want a song like XYZ, can you go and work on it for us and get it to us by this date? That is a brief in its simple format, okay? It's where somebody is wanting a song, presenting it to someone to then write that song in the chance of that song then being taken. Now songwriting briefs come in all different shapes and sizes. They can come from a really, really small artist who has never released, who hasn't an audience and no record label backing, to the biggest record label looking for the biggest artist for songs on their album. Okay, like I say, they come in all shapes and sizes. And depending on who you are and maybe what kind of success you've had in the past will more than likely depend on this, uh, the size of the brief or the type of the brief that you have. Because if you've not released any songs before, you've not had any success as a songwriter, it's unlikely that you're gonna get the biggest record label in the world contacting you for the biggest artist in the world. So you work your way up to that with smaller opportunities, with really great financial benefits to it still, even when you're working with smaller labels or artists. Now the benefits of a songwriting brief is they give you a clear direction, okay? A lot of songwriters when they're writing songs, and I used to do this a lot, is I really didn't have a direction. I would just come into my studio, I would get my guitar out, write a song, store it on my hard drive, hoping that one day someone was going to take it. We reverse engineer that process when we get a brief. A live brief is where, like we've mentioned, they will come to you and say, we want a song in this style, for this artist, in this uh, BPM, in this chord progression sequence. Like, it can be super detailed, right? So they are very clear on what they want. It gives you clear direction on what you're writing for when you're in the studio. You know you've got a brief, you've got a deadline, and you've got to meet it. So the real benefit of it, like I say, it gives you direction. And the second thing is there will be a monetary gain attached to it. Now by monetary gain, I mean like a possibility of revenue. This depends on the brief. So in some cases, it might be just a royalty on the song, so like an ongoing payment. And however successful that song becomes is then dependent on how much you'll make. So if the song, let's say, only gets played to 50 people at a, an open mic night and only gets streamed a thousand times, you're only entitled to that piece of the portion you've got. You might have a certain percentage on the publishing. So you'll only receive that percentage on the amount of success the song has had. If you compare that and the same song was played at the biggest arena in the world and got streamed 100 million times, then your portion of the publishing is far more lucrative. It's gonna generate more revenue unless you've signed a really bad deal but let's say in this case you've signed a great deal and it favors you, okay? Depending on how successful the song is depends on the paycheck and the revenue you will receive. Unless, in some cases, and this happens a lot in sync, in television, games, that kind of good stuff, is they will say to you they want a song and they, uh, they may offer you a buyout, okay? And that's where they will say they will give you an upfront payment first for the buyout of the song. And what that means in a lot of cases is you can't receive any royalties later down the line, okay? So if that song went on to be the most successful song in the world, you have been bought out on the rights that you have of the song. So you have to weigh it up on the project because that's some of the positives and negatives. 
positives is you're going to receive an upfront payment. You're going to have a clear idea of who the song is for. But if on the flip side, the negative being you might end up selling the song and it might go on to be super, super successful and you can't then return anything back for that song. On the other side of this is where live briefs are a competitive market, okay? There's a lot of songwriters that will be submitting for the briefs that you will be receiving more than likely, unless they're exclusive. So you'll find there might be 50, 100 other songwriters who will be submitting, okay? So you're in a competitive market, so you have to make sure the song is as good as it can be. So that's a slight negative is that it is a very competitive place to be. And in some cases, not always do your songs get played. Okay. Sometimes publishers will just listen to the trusted people that they've worked with before because they know they're going to get a good end result from that songwriter or uh, individual who has done the song. So kind of way up here, whether you think live writing briefs are for you or whether they are not, either way, they can be a super lucrative way to monetizing your music, writing for projects, and actually gaining some momentum and success with your music. So I've been Danny Boyle here, founder of Songwriters International. I hope you've enjoyed the content. Today we've spoken all about live writing briefs and what they are, all right? So if you've enjoyed the content, hit the subscribe button somewhere around this video, drop a comment below for any other content you'd like to see, and drop a like. And if you would like some further training, down below in the description, we've got a free training where you can register for more in-depth techniques and tips on all things songwriting. All right, I'll see you on another video.